most of us have at least a few traits we'd rather not have, whether it's something as simple as shyness or procrastination or more serious things like phobias, anxiety, eating disorders, or a nasty temper. Everyone has something negative they would like to overcome, and though you may think there's no way out, management consultant Morty Lefko says he has found a way to help people undo their negative behaviors and get, back, get their lives back on a positive track. Morty, good morning. Good morning, Elizabeth. Sounds like this is too good to be true, but it is complicated. Explain to me how this works. It's actually uh, not that complicated at all. Uh, my wife Shelley and I have a private practice in Westport, Connecticut, and what we've done with over 600 people is help people find the beliefs they have that are responsible for their negative patterns. And it can be the things you mentioned, uh, eating disorders such as bulimia, depression, anxiety, workaholism, and in every case there are some beliefs that are responsible. Now your theory is that the beliefs go back to sometimes childhood before you were even six years old. More How of, does that happen? Well, what happens early in life is, is you're in an environment and you're taking a look around as most of us are very curious, especially children. Why? How come? What does it mean? So if your parents are busy and every time you say, Mommy, could you spend time with me? The answer is, not now, I'm busy. Or, Daddy, look what I did. You could do better than that. What happens? You say, how come they're critical? How come they're not with me? And at some point you come up with, I guess it's me. I guess I'm not worthwhile. I guess there's something wrong with me. I guess relationships don't work. And once you've reached those conclusions, those beliefs pretty much determine everything you do and feel. And what I've come up with is a, something I call the decision maker process that enables you to totally and permanently eliminate the beliefs. And when the beliefs go away, then the patterns that come from the beliefs go away also. Okay, so I'll bite. How do you get rid of the beliefs? Okay. It's difficult to explain in detail in a couple of minutes how to do it, but basically the idea is, is that early in childhood when you're looking around and you're trying to figure out why is this happening, why is mommy busy, why is daddy critical, why are they fighting, what does that mean? And you say, oh, it looks to me like that means there's something wrong with me or I'm not okay. And that's an interpretation of what happens. And what we do in the sessions is we enable people to go back and take a look and realize that what they think was the truth, that's the way things really are, was really only one interpretation. Now, that's obviously an oversimplification. Mm -hmm. But in an hour and a half or two hours, it's possible to go through the process and to totally eliminate the belief. And when the belief goes away, then the pattern goes away. We've listed some categories of things, of ways that you can, traits that you can eliminate mm -hmm. by doing this sort of treatment mm -hmm. therapy, whatever yeah. you want to call it. Give me some specific examples of, of different problems people have been able to overcome using your system. Sure. Uh, we work with one woman in her 60s who had bulimia for over 20 years. She got to the beliefs underneath that were something like, there's something wrong with me, I'm not okay, I'm out of control, throwing up gives me control. And when she eliminated all of the beliefs, mm -hmm. the bulimia stopped after 11 sessions, and it's been three years now, and she hasn't thrown up since. I did one study, just to give you an example recently, is I had had over 600 stories of people who had been helped by this. But last year, we went into a couple of Connecticut prisons, and we took incarcerated offenders, both teens and adults, who had been arrested for selling drugs, taking drugs, uh, being in gangs, shooting people, robbing, etc. And we actually set up a control group and an experimental group, tested them all, and I worked with the experimental group for 13 weeks. And by helping them find the specific beliefs that were responsible for their abnormal criminal behavior and eliminate them, 13 weeks later, there was statistically significant evidence that it had disappeared. And does it stay gone, or is this a problem that you conquer once and for all? It stays gone. The, my, we've been doing this for over 10 years and have discovered that in that amount of time, it does stay gone. I've written a book uh, called uh, Recreating Your Life that does explain in detail how this works, how it applies to parenting, business, where we've done it in corporations and so forth. Okay. Interesting theory. Yes. Marty Lefko, thank you for joining us this morning. Thank you very much for having me. We'll be back in a moment, but first, this is Today on NBC.